What's going on, Alabama fans? Welcome into the Alabama Football Report. I am your host today, Chris Daughtry. We're going to be breaking down the first official injury report that we got last night on Wednesday night. Some pretty good news for Alabama on that injury report as well. Before we get into that, though, guys, I want to make sure you guys share today's video. If you guys want us to do this video more often, we're going to have them. You know, injury reports come out on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as well as I think it's supposed to come out 90 minutes before the game starts as well. So if you want us to continue doing this video, make sure you share today's video for me right now. We're going to start off with just some of the players out for Georgia in this game. Roderick Robinson, uh, the second running back for Georgia, going to be out. He's recovering from a toe injury. Um, uh, or toe surgery, excuse me, that he had a couple of weeks ago. London Humphreys, also wide receiver for Georgia, going to be out with mono. Got mononucleosis right now, so he's not going to be playing in this game. Tate Rattledge, also we knew that he was going to be out in this game. Had tightrope surgery on his ankle um, uh, last week after that Kentucky game. So he's going to be missing this game, which is going to be a pretty costly uh, injury for Georgia in this game. When it comes to the running backs, though, uh, you know, Georgia isn't really going to lose anything. Uh, Trevor Etienne is still the guy that is going to be their starting running back. And, you know, he's kind of gotten off to a slow start. Hadn't really had the start of the year that I think he and a lot of other people also expected for him to have. So I expect Georgia to go out there and try their best to be able to get him going in this game because he is a really good running back and you know, with some of the injuries up front for Georgia, it's kind of, you know, been uh, or it's going to it's been a little tough for them. You know, especially those tackles have not really played well for Georgia either. The wide receivers for Georgia, I think the guy we're going to see a lot of is uh, Dominic Levet. Uh, 12 receptions for 155 yards for him. He is really the deep ball guy, I think, for Georgia. So, um, you know, if, if they're going to be going deep, if they're going to be trying some, uh, you know, play action shots or anything like that, I think he is going to be the guy that they're going to go to on those. But I still really like what I've seen from Arian Smith and, you know, Lucky Lawson also. He's averaging 20 yards per catch right now. So definitely somebody to keep an eye out for, um, you know, for Georgia on the offensive side of the ball. So I want to hear from you guys in the comments section right now. A lot of these players for Georgia on the injury report, um, you know, that are out for this game are on the offensive side of the ball. So I want to know from you guys, grade Alabama's defense so far this season. I think, uh, you know, this could really affect, you know, how Alabama plays and how Georgia plays as well. So let me know at the pinned comment of today's video. That ad comes here on YouTube. That's totally fine. You can ignore it. Uh, go down there and grade Alabama's defense so far this year, A, B, C, D, or F. All right, moving on to the rest of these Georgia players on their injury report. I think there's a lot of guys on here that Georgia really needs to get on the field on Saturday because, uh, you know, last couple of weeks, they just haven't looked, you know, like the same Georgia team that we know that they are absolutely capable of being. Michael Williams, edge rusher for Georgia, listed as questionable right now. Um, I would expect him to play in this game. We're going to have another one come out um, on Thursday evening, Friday evening as well. So I would expect him to eventually be listed as probable, but we'll see what happens. But they really, really need Michael Williams on the field for them in this game. Because the last couple of years, man, he has been a just stud of a player on the defensive side of the ball for Georgia. He's got over 60 pressures, including two uh, from this year as well. So Georgia, uh, like I said, really needs to have this guy on the field because if not, I think Alabama can really, you know, end up playing, uh, you know, some bully ball um, in the run game uh, if they don't have these guys up front for Georgia. And that is included with Jordan Hall as well. You know, he had 10 tackles for Georgia last year, but, um, you know, I think that's just only, you know, the tip of the spear with what he can bring to the table for Georgia. You know, he's a five-star uh, defensive lineman in that 2023 class. So, you know, definitely a guy that can wreak havoc up front for Georgia. And they are going to absolutely need him on the defensive line. If they, it's Same thing with Michael Williams. And honestly, the same thing with Warren Brinson as well. Um, you know, he's been, in, he's been at Georgia for a long time. So, 
Um, you know, Georgia hasn't necessarily looked like the same Georgia team that we have seen in the past, but I am not going to, you know, fall into the trap of saying Georgia ain't what they used to be or what they were a couple of years ago because, uh, you know, they still got Kirby Smart. They played bad against Kentucky. They're coming off a bye week. I absolutely expect Kirby Smart to have this team for Georgia ready to play. Guys, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor today, and that is LinkedIn Jobs. When you are hiring for a small business, you want to find quality professionals that are right for the role. That's why you have to check out LinkedIn Jobs. LinkedIn Jobs has the tools to help you find the right professionals for your team faster and for free. Look, I, when before I got my job here at Chat Sports, I just updated my resume. I put it on my LinkedIn, updated that, and, uh, you know, Chat Sports reached out to me just a couple of days later. It was super easy to me for me, and it was super easy for the boss's side of you know hiring as well. LinkedIn isn't just a job board. LinkedIn helps you hire the right professionals that you cannot find anywhere else, even those who are not actively searching for a new job but might be open to the perfect role. In any given month, over 70% of LinkedIn users don't visit other leading job sites. So if you're not looking on LinkedIn, what are you guys doing? You are looking in the wrong place. On LinkedIn, 86% of small businesses get a qualified candidate within 24 hours. Hire professionals like professionals on LinkedIn. LinkedIn knows that small businesses, they're wearing so many hats and you might not have time to really you know, research and find the right people to hire. LinkedIn is constantly finding ways to make the process easier and they even just launched a new feature that helps you write job descriptions, making the process even easier and quicker. 2.5 million small businesses are on LinkedIn right now and using that for hiring. Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash cfchat. That's linkedin.com slash cfchat to post your job for free. Terms and conditions do apply. That link will be in the comment section and the description of today's video. Moving on to the Alabama side of the injury report, we're going to go one by one on these guys because I want to break them down a little bit more. Quay Russo at that Wolf position listed as probable. Uh, you know, he went out in that Wisconsin game with, you know, knee slash ankle injury. Not exactly sure. Um, you know, I honestly, I think it was both for those guys. But look, he is, that is an absolute you know, huge thing if he can play in this game. I would expect him being listed as probable would mean that he is going to play in this game, and Alabama really, really needs him. Because what I have said this entire week and last week leading up to this game is Alabama's going to have to get pressure on Carson Beck. Their offensive line has not been very good this year and is, you know, in particular, those tackles for Georgia have not been very good this year. You could probably say, you know, the same thing about Alabama, but... Uh, you know, I think they're really starting, you know, they started off hurt during the season. So, uh, you know, I think with Quay Russo, what Quandarius Robinson, both of these guys have been able to do for you. I've been super impressed with Quandarius Robinson this year. And honestly, I did not think Quay Russo was going to be a guy to start the season that was going to be in that starting rotation. So very pleased with what both of these guys have been able to provide for Alabama at that wolf position. So let me know, guys, in the comments section, how many sacks do you think Alabama's defense is going to have in this game? I think both of those guys, I think LT Overton, 13 pressures for him as well at that bandit position for Alabama this season. All three of those guys, I think, are going to have a massive impact in this game, and they need to have a massive impact in this game if, uh, you know, Alabama really wants to stop Georgia's offense. The next one up, we're going to talk about Richard Young here. He is listed as probable. Um, you know, honestly, I don't expect really Richard Young to play much in this game. I expect to for it to really be that three-headed monster for Alabama. Rushing the football, Jalen Milrow, uh, Justice Haynes, and Jam Miller. I think, the, I mean, those are the guys for you at running back right now. I really like what Richard Young, you know, brings to the table for Alabama and, you know, what he can do for you in you know later in games he's a big bodied back and he can definitely wear down some defenses but I would expect Alabama's main three rushers to really be the guys that they go to in this game 
Jeremiah Alexander, linebacker for Alabama, listed as probable. And we knew that Jeremiah Alexander has kind of been, you know, suffering through, uh, you know, some injuries to start off the season, but didn't really know what those were exactly. But Alabama ended up putting out photos uh, the other day. I think it was on Tuesday. Jeremiah Alexander was featured in those photos for the first time this season, wearing a cast on his right hand. So he's listed as probable right now. I would assume a linebacker, honestly, could probably play with one of those hard casts on his hand. Um, but honestly, right now, I probably wouldn't expect him to play, though. I think he's definitely a guy that, you know, coming up, you know, once Deontay Lawson, Jihad Campbell, uh, you know, make their way to the NFL, these are going to be, or he's going to be a guy that Alabama is definitely going to look to, you know, really make an impact and make a statement for himself once he gets those opportunities. Really like what Justin Okoronkwo brings to the table for you as well. Justin Jefferson has gotten a lot of playing time for Alabama. So, um, you know, really nice to see that Jeremiah Alexander is on the injury report and he's listed as probable because, you know, depending on throughout the season, I would really, really love to see what Jeremiah Alexander can do out there for the Alabama defense. Two notable players not listed on this availability report. Malachi Moore, who went out with a concussion after uh, colliding heads with Keon Sab a couple of weeks ago. He's not listed on there. Kind of expected him not to be listed on there, honestly, with everything uh, Kalen DeBoer has said about his progression. So that is very positive. And then Cole Adams, you know, went out against US, uh, USF with that arm injury. And, uh, you know, I haven't seen him yet, but... Kalen DeBoer said last week they started kind of ramping up his workload, and then this week, you know, it was a, uh, you know, been a pos or a uh, positive sign for Cole Adams. So whether I, I honestly wouldn't expect him really to get out there with the wide receivers as much, probably in this game, but you know, he's still that guy out there that is probably going to be your punt returner. You know, you've had Jalen Ibakwe out there. I think he sparked Alabama. Um, in that South Florida game with his punt return. So I really like his ability there. Still a freshman, though. Um, and, you know, Cole Adams, you know, when, when it comes to those punt returners, always want to see the guy catch the ball in the air because, you know, you don't want it to bounce another 15, 20 yards. This is going to be a game of field position. You want your sure-handed guy out there. And, you know, Ryan Williams, also super electric, but I don't really want to get him, uh, you know, hurt at the end of the day when it comes to uh, returning punts. So, I would assume Cole Adams is going to be the guy out there returning punts for Alabama this week. Make sure you guys are subscribed right here to the Alabama Football Report. We will be going live an hour before kickoff for our Alabama versus Georgia watch party. We're going to be giving away a Jalen Milrow jersey. Going to be doing a raffle for that. So make sure you guys are subscribed and come hang out with us during our Alabama versus Georgia watch party at YouTube.com slash at Roll Tide TV.